All right, in our video demonstration today, we're gonna to talk about how to repair a sock that is starting to wear thin. This is pre-hole. So you can see that my fingers are showing up through the fabric of the sock, and that means that the stitches are getting very thin. So now is a great time to repair this sock before it actually develops a hole. Um, to do this, you'll need two things. You need a darning egg and you need a wool needle loaded up with some yarn. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same color as the sock that you were that you're repairing, but it's helpful. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on a sock where I don't have the exact same color yarn um, to work with. So as you can see here, the, the darning egg is showing up my stitches nicely for me. And essentially what I'm going to do at this point is a little bit of duplicate stitch over the um, over the worn area of the sock. All right, so to begin, I am looking at the, um, I'm looking at the hole or the worn area in my sock and I'm going to start at the bottom of the hole. So I can see here, if I kind of stretch my sock over my darning egg, that this part of the fabric is not too bad but it starts to get really thin right in here where there's a little more wear going on. So I'm gonna start um, my, my repairs on this row right here. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, to do this repair, what I do is I insert the wool needle a ways away from the worn area. I'm going to leave a tail in here that I'm going to weave in later. And I pull my, um, my repair yarn through. I'm just using a bit of the same sock yarn that I used to knit the sock. And then um, I'm bringing that yarn in, it's hard to see here, but I'm bringing it in through the base of one of the knit stitches. So it's coming up right here, and here is the knit stitch that I'm tracing. I'm going to go through the two bars of the stitch above the one that I'm duplicating. And then I go right back down into the same spot that I brought the yarn up in, and I come over to the next stitch beside it. I'm just going to draw my yarn through. There we go. And I'm essentially just um, embroidering over the stitches in the row. This is, this is a bit tedious. It's certainly not quick, but it's quite effective in repairing a worn spot without actually having to re-knit the entire sock. So you can see here that I've got two stitches covered um, and they're significantly thicker than the stitch um, underneath it. So that means that where I'm doing this repair, I'm going to end up with um, kind of a thicker section of fabric. And that's okay actually, it feels, this is under the ball of the foot, so it feels kind of squishy there and it's a little bit of extra padding, so I don't mind that at all. Some people uh, don't want the thickness of the sock to be changed at all and so what they'll do is use a reinforcing thread or a two-ply sort of lace weight type sock yarn in order to do this repair. So again, I'll go into the heart of the stitch below the one that I want to fix, draw my yarn through, and then this is the stitch that I'm fixing right here. I go into the two bars of the stitch right above it, draw my yarn through, and then back down into the, the stitch below the one that I'm repairing. And that allows me to cover over or duplicate a whole row of knitting. All right. It's a little bit like cross stitch in my mind. Um, you're, instead of making crosses, you're making knit stitches. Um, this technique is also used to embroider on 
um, if you wanted to add a design to a project after you'd knit it and you wanted to put say initials in um, this is a way that you could do that as well okay I've come to the edge of my thin stitches and now I'm going to move up a row so I just want to show you how that works I'm going to go into again into the base of the stitch that I'm covering and I'm just going to pop it right up into the middle of the stitch that I'm working on so I'm just coming up one one bar here that puts my yarn my repair yarn in the middle of the stitch that I just repaired and now I'm going to duplicate the stitches on the row above working my way back um, to do this I'm going to work in the opposite direction now um, typically this isn't recommended you like like in other needle crafts um, the recommendation is always to work in the same direction each time but this is the bottom of a sock and I don't want to weave in my ends at the end of every row so I'm going to cheat a little bit by just working my way back so it's again this is a dark color I know it's difficult to see but this is the stitch I'm going to cover next and my yarn is coming out of the stitch on the row below so I'm just going to insert my wool needle into the two bars of the stitch again above the one that I want to cover pull my yarn through then insert my wool needle into the same stitch bring it over like that pull it through and then go back through the two bars of the stitch in the row above good lighting is nice to have so if you don't have good lighting um, I suggest you try and go outside I find that when I move outside into sunlight if I can find some mm -hmm. that that it's, it's just a great improvement on uh, being able to see the stitches especially on a dark yarn like this uh, you can also use uh, magnifying light um, there's other ways of doing it but essentially what I'm going to do is just work back and forth covering the stitches in this bare spot here um, it will take some time and you might ask why would I do this um, I, I believe that you know if I took an hour to cover in these um, bare spots then this sock is going to last um, a little bit longer and um, that's going to save me probably the 16 hours it would take to knit a new pair so that's why I do it all right so I've been working on this um, I've been working on this sock for um, maybe about 10 minutes now and I'm getting close to the end of my yarn so I just wanted to recap um, what we've discussed so far and show you what it looks like um, so I'm um, I'm just duplicating the stitches and the way that I'm doing that is to insert my wool needle into the heart of the stitch below the one that I'm repairing and into the two bars or arms of the where am I here of the stitch above the one that I'm repairing then back down into the heart of the stitch below on the row below over to the next one into the two arms of the stitch above the one that I'm repairing pull through over to the next one and as you can see I get quite a rhythm going so it doesn't take it doesn't take too long it's it's always it always takes less time than it would take to re-knit a sock and so I think that it's worth doing this at least once in the lifetime of a sock um, before you decide that it's time to throw that sock away all right so when I get to the end of the row and I'm close to the end of my yarn and I don't want to struggle with a short tail of yarn I just do my last stitch over here trying to go um, over to the edge as far as I can to um, reinforce the edges of that thin spot and then I just take my wool needle and I tuck my yarn over to the side like this later on I'm going to come back and weave in this end 
and I'll weave in this end. And again, I can use, I can weave it in around the edges here to fill in some thin spots if there's still some thin spots. So as you can see, I have a bit more work to do, but I'm going to put that sock aside for a little bit and show you what this looks like on a sock where I'm using a different color. All right, we're back and we're going to look at doing some sock repair on, on another sock. This one um, also has a weak spot developing here in the toe and the stitches are um, quite a bit thinner here than they are here and here. So now is a great time to reinforce that area and um, repair my sock before it turns into a hole. Um, I'm using, this time I'm using a yarn that's a different color. I'll show you here, I've got a blue yarn. And um, it's going to be a visible repair on the bottom of my sock, but it's on the bottom of my sock. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, again, to get started, I bring my wool needle in over to the side here, and I put it into um, one of the stitches in the row below the place where I'm going to repair. And I draw my yarn through, leaving a good tail hanging out here on the side because I have to weave that tail in later. <clears throat> my yarn is coming um, in through the bottom of a, or through the heart of a stitch right here. And the stitch that I'm going to duplicate is this one right here. So in order to um, embroider over it, I'm going to insert my wool needle into the stitch above the one that I'm going to repair. Draw my yarn through and go right back down into the heart of the stitch that I, or go right back down into the place where I started. I'm going to angle my needle over to come out into the heart of the next stitch uh, right beside it. Draw my yarn through and as I do that you're going to see that I have just very neatly covered over that stitch, reinforcing it as I go. This is called duplicate stitch. I'm going to do this again. Put my yarn needle through the two bars of the stitch above the one that I want to duplicate, down back into the heart of the stitch on the row below, and over to the next stitch. See that? And then I continue to do that across the row. So I am embroidering over one row of stitches on my sock and I'm doing this to reinforce a thin spot in the ball of my sock to repair it before it becomes a full-blown hole. The stitches are quite thin here so this is a very timely repair and uh, you can't see it because it's off camera, but these socks that I'm working on are um, actually thigh high socks. And um, the time that it takes to knit them makes this repair um, worth the time. What's that saying? A stitch in time saves nine. So a sock repair on a thin spot saves um, many, many hours of sock knitting. Okay, when I get to the end of the row that I'm repairing, uh, I'm going to move up a row. Where am I here? Yep, that's right. Let me just, I'll just show you how that works. I'm going to go one more stitch. So I want to embroider into the more stable stitches. So over here on the edge it's it's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do to move up a row is just move up one stitch. So I've inserted my wool needle into the same spot where I started, into the heart of the stitch on the row below, and I'm just moving it up into the heart of the stitch that I just fixed. There we go. So now my yarn is coming out of the middle of the stitch that I just fixed and I'm going to work on the next row. And on this row, it's a little trickier for me because I'm right-handed, but I am going to work from the left to the right because I don't want to cut my yarn and start on the other side. 
If I wasn't holding this under the camera, I would hold it so that it was at a better angle for me to work on. I might even hold it upside down. There's, uh, you can do that. All right, so I'm going to continue to work on this sock and then I'll come back and show you my progress in a minute. All right, so here it is, my uh, repair on my sock. Um, you can see that I've done it in a different color, but um, it looks, it looks, I think it looks quite neat. I, I could have probably made more of a circle in here and maybe I'll come back in and just fill this in so it looks neater. But I've essentially just duplicate stitched over all of the thin stitches in my sock and um, that's prevented a hole from forming in the ball of my foot. This uh, area that I've repaired is thicker than the rest of the stitches around it, but it's on the ball of my foot and it will actually feel quite nice, um, kind of padded, because these stitches um, re replicate the stitches on the row below. So it just feels like I did some extra knitting, double stranded knitting or one and a half times stranded knitting in that particular area when I wear it on my foot. So that's how I repair a sock that has um, some thin stitches. It's pre-hole sock repair. And again, I believe this is um, a useful exercise uh, to save yourself the time and effort of re-knitting the sock. 